Hello again, everyone. Edwin Leonard back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about Uranus transiting the seventh house in a natal chart. Now, on average, Uranus will traverse a house for approximately seven years. However, if your house size is a little bit larger than average, then Uranus will be in there for a little bit of a longer duration. If your house size is a little bit smaller than average, then Uranus will be in there for a little bit of a shorter period. Well, anyway, people, first thing I'll look at when Uranus traverses one's natal seventh house, this could indicate um, a lot of disruption, a lot of upheavals in matters pertaining two relationships. It could be a time where a marriage becomes void. It could be eradicated. Perhaps the uh, per the significant other might say, this is enough. I'm, I can't, this is not, marriage is not for me. You may even say, well, it's time for me to extricate myself from this situation. This is not working for me. There's a lot more negatives in it than positives. And you might free yourself and then go to uh, embark on a new relationship. Uh, it could be a time where relationships may be formed uh, with somebody that, that could be eclectic, very unorthodox or unconventional. There might be a big age disparity between you and this prospective significant other. It could be, uh, it could, or, or significant other, if you do marry the person, I should say, could be somebody that lives in another country, somebody that has could be rather innovative and genius, and there could be just be something that's very unusual about this person. And really, when you look at this too, keep in mind that the seventh house also governs open enemies or adversaries. And it could be a time where you might attract some unpredictable and bizarre uh, open adversaries. It could be somebody that maybe in, is in the computer electronics field and aerospace, maybe even somebody uh, connected with an esoteric subject such as astrology. This could also be a time where uh, situations with open uh, adversaries or enemies could be unpredictable. It could be something where you feel you've reconciled with, with this person. If you have any open enemies during this period that you're, that you're trying to work out a, 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 and you negotiate a situation with or come to some peaceful resolution, it could be a period where, for example, you may feel you have uh, reconciled or, or you've resolved the situation and then you then all of a sudden, quote unquote, it's unresolved, so to speak, uh, in situation. So it could be something like that, or you might have an unanticipated reconciliation with one. It, it could be something like that. And, and really relationships in general, they could be very erratic and sporadic at this time, to say the least. Now, the seventh house uh, also, is also associated with contracts. So it could be a time where maybe uh, you might have an unanticipated contract uh, with somebody. It could be from an unexpected source. For example, if you're like, say you're some musician or something and, and you for the longest time, uh, you've been persistently trying to, to sign with some record company and all of a sudden, out of the blue, uh, somebody may come up and say, okay, we got a deal for you. So, I mean, in a positive scenario, that could be possible. And really, this is just a time where you're really, uh, you, you, you really don't want to be hemmed in or confined by a significant other. You really, this is a time where you might be looking for more freedom and independence in relationships. This could also be a period uh, when we look at the, the seventh house, this could be about partnerships as well. So it could be a time where as far as a partnership may go, it could be something unanticipated that happens, something unusual, or it might be the beginning of a partnership that if, you, if you're not with, like, say, a business partnership, for example, it could be the start of one. It could also be the termination of one unexpectedly if you're currently involved in a, like a business partnership type situation. It also could be a time for uh, if a business partnership, if one starts, it could be something 
connected with a Uranus-like field. It could be something connected with astrology, an esoteric subject, something connected with uh, innovation, electronics, computers. It could be something just in, in science in general. And really, this could also be a time where you look at um, the, this period in that you look at uh, this situation having Uranus transiting the, the seventh house and you really might be attracted more to somebody that that could be very unorthodox and somebody that maybe in the past you might have just said oh this person's too quirky quirky there there's too many idiosyncrasies I, I there's no way that I would ever get involved with this person but this could be the time where you might contradict yourself so to speak and, and wind up getting involved with him or her so anyway people well it's also important to look at the aspects if any that are made by this transit to your natal planets and points in your chart is this could impact the transit now let's say for example that uranus transiting your natal seventh house is making a conjunction to your natal mercury well this could be a period where you might have a lot of ingenuity in in thought and in being the fact given the fact that it's in the seventh house this could be a time where maybe you apply this ingenuity perhaps to like a, a business partnership or something, or you may share these, uh, these ingenious ideas perhaps with a significant other or somebody in a relationship. So anyway, another example, let's say that transiting Uranus is making a sextile or trine to your natal Venus. Well, this could indicate you may strike up a new romantic uh, interest that could be very uh, auspicious. And really, uh, in being in the seventh, it could be as a, a result, perhaps from extricating yourself or freeing yourself from a relationship about freedom, of course, freeing yourself uh, from a negative relationship, perhaps in starting in starting this new one. So anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment for uranus transiting the seventh house in a natal chart and stay tuned next time where i'll be dissertating and talking about uranus transiting the eighth house in a natal chart two things i want to get with you on before i head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well